welcome back to another Simplified 3D tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to print specialized materials such as carbon fiber, wood fill, PETG, just any material that's not the standard PLA or ABS. So in order to do that, uh, for this example, we're going to be using wood fill. So I have wood fill and what you want to do is from whatever manufacturer you got it from, whatever company, check if it's not on the spool or the box, uh, hang on, sorry about that, you need to check the temperature. So as you can see right here, it says 195 to 220, 40 to 100 millimeters a second. There's your, there's your print speed. So then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our model. In this case, I'm going to be printing a treasure chest. And this is a G code file. That's not helpful. Let me, I have, I have it. Hang on. Here we go. Boom. There we go. So we're going to be printing this treasure chest out of wood. So this is a little too small. So I'm going to go up to 150. So where were we? Okay. So we're about to print this chest in wood PLA. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new process if it's not there already. We're going to choose our configuration. So for this, I'm just going to stick with medium. All that changes is the layer height. If you have a specific layer height for the material, then that you, you could change that here. It's not really hugely important with wood fill. If you want, I would suggest thicker layers, but I'm going to stick with 0.2 millimeters. It's fine. And so what you're going to do is if you want, you can click this plus button and add a wood fill material. So wood fill just like that. And then this will create a new preset. And in that we can go to temperature. The bed is so right here. I got this in a maker box. So I have right here all the settings. So the bed says 70 C maximum 50 to 70 C. I'm going to keep it at 60. That's fine. And 195 to 215 degrees C for the extrusion temperature. Now this is wood fill PLA. It's basically wood or PLA infused with wood particles. So it prints at PLA temperature, but this is how you would do it to changes. I'm going to make this, um, 215 for the first layer. And then I'm going to make this 210 for the second layer and we'll update the profile. Click okay, slice this bad boy. And we can actually preview the G code here. Make sure there's no problems. It's always good practice to preview the G code. Looks pretty good. And we'll save to a flat to disk. And I'll show you the finished product. So let's switch over here. Okay. So here is the finished. Oh, I don't have my good camera. I'm using my webcam, but this is 1080p, so it should be pretty comfortable. Um, so this is the chest came out. Look at that. Come on. There's the focus. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Stay that. Stay focused. So it's not bad. It's a little boogery. I could have uh, uh, messed with the settings a little bit more, but I only have a little bit. So it's inside. Yes, there it is. So it's honestly not bad. Um, like I'm giving you a serious macro shot, but from back here, refocus. It looks great, and it sounds like wood. Listen, you hear that? It sounds like wood. Like it does not sound like plastic at all. It smells like wood when you're printing it. It smells like a wood shop. It's awesome. So that was a wood fill. That was how to add and save a custom material to Simplify 3D. Please note that a material that only changes the temperature and a couple of other settings. If you have a material like Ninja Flex that is specific to like an extrusion speed or uh, extrusion multiplier, those are a little bit difficult because when you add that material and save it, it does not save those settings. Those settings are global. So those settings will affect all your materials. There is a workaround by manipulating the .ff file, which I'll actually show you because I have time. This is what a .ff file looks like. So this is basically the profile for the printer. So if we look here, this is color fab XT right here. So, Sets the fan speed, sets the temp or the speed fan speed for layer one, two, the temperature, like all that good stuff. So what you can do is for Ninja Flex is you would just add another one of these uh, configurations, and then you would have to put in uh, like default extrusions or 
or uh, see how this says global extrusion multiplier you would put in default extrusion multiplier put in the number and you know all that good stuff there's plenty of documentation online with simplify 3d that's super advanced i'm not going to go through that because it's so much easier to just manipulate it on the fly and not update the profile so i hope you learned something i hope this helps you if you have any questions put it in the comments have a good day